Hey guys, welcome back to My Singing Monsters. Today's episode is gonna be part update video and part reaction video. I've been trying to cover all the updates in this game and as of today, I am two updates behind. So let's check those out first. Okay, technically I'm one update behind because the other update came out today. So I feel like I'm right on time for that one. All right guys, first of all, new monster on Amber Island, the Incisor. This is a monster from Dawn of Fire. It's a four element. That's all I know about it and I have everything I need right now to incubate it. Okay, this egg is really reminding me of a stog egg. I can't even remember exactly what it looks like, but I gotta look it up now. Okay, yeah, that's why it's reminding me of a stog egg, guys. They're super similar. All right, are you gonna let me do this or are you gonna tell me that I don't have enough beds? I guess we'll see. Wow, crack it open. I don't know what kind of sound he makes. What the hell was that? Was that one of those spinny things that you have at a birthday party? A little bit weird, but okay. Let's see if we can place it. We can! Okay, I, I, thought, I thought I didn't have enough beds. I thought I only had like two beds left, but I guess not. Let's pop you down here and have a listen. Okay. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to this monster, is there, guys? Well, I guess what this guy lacks in musical talent, he makes up for in dance moves. Tell me more. So I, I do kind of like the way he uh, he goes along with Repetillo and Pong Ping here. With a smile only a monster mother could love, the charming Incisor loves to munch on cold treats like ice cream and popsicles day and night. Lucky, <laughs> what do you mean lucky? I guess it's lucky that this guy can eat whatever he wants or something. Like all monsters, its metabolism is designed to derive maximum nutrition from foods that humans might consider junk food but its ability to bypass ice cream headaches and actually improve its focus with its frigid diet seems to be unique to this species. While this quad might have aspired to be a beatboxer, at one point the Incisor's wiggly teeth make that difficult, but still manage to produce a whole lot of spittle in the process. Ew. Well, there you have it, folks. The Incisor. Very creepy looking monster. All right, there's another monster on this island we need to get, guys. It is the rare Yelmet. Look at this guy right here with his tinfoil hat. That kind of relates to the next update we're gonna cover. We need to go into this hotel now and we need to remove our Yelmet. And now, we're gonna take this guy and put him in the Love Shack, baby! Love Shack, baby, Love Shack. I don't know what kind of Love Shack leaves you all alone, but it does the trick, okay? Well, not this time but sometimes it does. Wow, unfurl it. <sighs> Luckily guys, I got a lot of relics, okay? I, I got like 30 something last time I came here and collected them all. And this looks like it could be the rare Yelmet. Two, over two days. Look at this folks, wow. Beautiful. I like him way more than I like the original Yelmet. He's got great colors and the tinfoil hat is just, it's really something. Okay, there it is, folks. Somebody was sad about that. I don't know why. I guess they like the other guy better. Well, look, there's only so much I can do. It's too expensive to upgrade the castle. This guy is actually more fun to watch than to listen to, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, maybe it's a result of having spent too much time since being able to touch grass, but a certain group of bubblegum pink yelmets are convinced that the Colossals have been awake this whole time and are actively reading their thoughts. That's why they've ditched their typical headgear and swapped them with tinfoil hats. These ones are definitely hats to protect their precious brainwaves. This unusual, some might say unhinged, belief traces its way back to the founder of the movement, a rare yelmet named Pockle Bell, famous for its unbridled imagination and alternate, alternate version of reality called Pockle Bell's Canon. Oh. So are you screaming because you're so worried about the Colossals reading your mind? Must be it, guys. Must be it. If they could read his mind, all they'd probably hear is ah! All right, guys, so those monsters were from the last update that I didn't do yet. Now we're gonna take a look at today's update. It's called Quite the Conundrum. Hey, Handler Helpers, it's me, Monster Handler Tyson with another- Wow, look, guys, my favorite Monster Handler. Okay, guys, listen, first of all, most of this update is just, hey, 
It's Christmas. Go get your costumes. And also, there's a, a new island skin that you can have all year round if you want that has all the Christmas decorations on it. That's not what I'm interested in. I think there was one more thing I was supposed to talk about, but I think... I think I've forgotten it. Huh. What's going on? I feel like Monster Handler Tyson has way too much fun doing his job, guys. Tyson! He's dead! Eh, he'll be back. Hey everyone, it's me, Monster Handler Matt. As promised, the Colossals are finally going to start awakening in the brand new Colossal Conundra daily login feature. Say Many what? The secrets of the monster world have been transcribed and tucked away on parchment. Kana's map, which revealed the existence of the prehistoric continent. Mm -hmm. Or Blabbit Scroll, which led to the discovery of Wublin Island. Mm -hmm. In those cases, it was the cooperation and resolve of the handler helpers which solved the puzzles. And so it seems appropriate that the secret to rousing the Colossals is hiding among the scraps of those Colossal Conundra as well. Log in each day to collect a puzzle piece of the Colossal Conundra. Mm. And receive a special reward, too. Mm. One mm. Guys. Okay, yeah, well, let's just watch this one part first, okay? Once the conundrum is complete, collect the brand new structure called the Colossi. The Colossi. Watch in awe as the Colossal finally awakens I would love, its long slumber. I would love to watch in awe as that happens, but you're going to make me wait 32 days or more. Guys, I'm going away next month, okay? I'm going to have to, like, transfer my data if possible. i got to figure it out, okay? I've got to log in every single day now so I can get this Colossi as soon as possible. I just realized, guys... Colossi, as in multiple colossuses. Good one. Good one, guys. So that is the biggest part of this update, guys. But if we go to Cold Island, there is a new rare mythical waiting for us. I'll let you guess which one. Okay, so here is the uh, new Festival of Yay skin you can get, guys. Now, I already have an island skin, so I don't know if this would actually do anything. We all know that one monster that sings Yay carols every month of the year. For those special monsters imbued with unwavering Festival of Yay cheer, this makeover is the ultimate gift. The icy chill of Cold Island becomes infinitely more heartwarming when it's adorned with glimmering bubbles and stockings hung by the castle with care. This Cold Island skin will display the merry decor of the Festival of Yay year-round. And they're letting us activate it in a trial. Uh, you don't have to pay for it after or anything, it just goes away uh, in 20 days, I suppose. All right, guys, now listen, I don't even have a Strombonin on this island anymore, so we actually have to get two Strombonins today. As I suspected, the combination for a Strombonin and a rare Strombonin is the same, so we don't need to worry too much about getting the common. That one should be the easy part. So let's just combine a sponge and a Bogart and cross our fingers. That's not it. This is my fourth fail, guys, but I definitely feel like I need somewhere to put these fails like this is an extra 11 diamonds because i don't have anywhere i can zap it so pretty sure i'm going to celestial island and just buying a couple of uh a couple of those statues look at this guys i can buy back a galvana that i got rid of a while ago this is what i wanted to get anyway but now i don't have to spend any diamonds on it which is nice because this this thing just has such a big inventory it'll it'll help me in like all my breeding see this one's got bogart and sponge in it only three of each but still it'll absorb some of my paint Oh no, a sponge. I guess I'll just send it to Ampool. Wait a minute, can I just sell Ampool after I do the three and three? And then just uh, do the same thing again, just buy it back? Because that would be like a really good way <laughs> to avoid spending 11 diamonds again and again. Oh, 15 diamonds, that's a regular Strombonin. Good, 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 good. Go ahead and place that down. I'm sorry I ever made you leave, buddy, but I needed you somewhere else. Oh, and another one right away, huh? Well, I really can't put this anywhere. Just stay over there, okay? All right, here's my Galvana. Gonna go ahead and sell that and go right back into the market and buy it again. Why not, man? Man, what the heck is going on with my hair? You, I, I can't go making YouTube videos like this. Oh, God. Oh, 19 diamonds. Could this be it? The rare Strombonin! Yeah, baby! So this guy is green instead of blue. He's got like a, is that like a Japanese samurai sort of uh, armor on? And his little dude looks a little different as well. Okay, okay. Here's our new rare Strombone and his name is Bushi. Okay, I don't know why his name is Bushi. 
Folklore contends that all stromboning can move soundlessly if they so choose, although most of the time they are deafeningly loud. In reality, this is a misrepresentation of the rare Strombonin's ability to make itself unseen by camouflaging itself among piney trees. By no means is this rare mythical prone to quietude. On the contrary, it often occupies a special position in Strombonin society called the Yippie Kaye Ku. This designated performer will signal with a fewer eyed Strombone subspecies called the Horagai and carried in a web net, and you can bet there's no mistaking when it arrives. I read that sentence, but I didn't really understand that sentence. Okay, so so this, this little guy that's in the trombone thing, he has two eyes, the other one has four eyes. Okay, that's what, that's what they were saying. Guys, I wouldn't say I like the rare Strombonin more than the regular Strombonin. I mean, the regular Strombonin is literally one of the best monsters in the entire game. And I like the way he looks all blue and with the four-eyed little dude. Now, technically, we can also get this guy on Mythical Island. So, shall we? And my Mythical Island is gonna be garbage-free soon, guys. Wow-wee, look at that. Boom! All the garbage is gone! All right, question. How long is this guy available for? Four days, that's it? Oh man. I was gonna say, I'll just get him another time. I can still get him another time. I'm actually just gonna teleport him in from Cold Island, okay? And out pops our rare Strombonin. I know what he looks like. Okay, and ta-da. All right, guys, so those were the updates that I wanted to cover today. For the rest of this video, we are gonna be going to TikTok to react to some MSM TikToks. If you didn't already know, one of the reasons MSM is getting so much popularity lately is because of TikTok. And I've been on there watching TikToks as well, and I gotta say, there's some really interesting content on there. Also, if you didn't already know, guys, I have my own TikTok account as well. And in the last week, I started uploading my reactions to each of the epic wall boxes. And as you can see, it's been going pretty well. I've gotten millions of views in like a week. So if you wanna check out my TikTok account, please do so. Link down below. Okay, first TikTok I see, guys, is from MSM themselves, letting people know the rare Strombonin is here. Thanks, guys. All epic wubboxes put together. Who would do such a thing? Where's the Where's the big noises? How come you guys aren't doing the, the big noises? Are they all gonna do the big noises at the same time? Oh, that's one. The other dudes are just chilling. Okay. They all take turns. The uh, the creator of this did it in a way where each of them gets their moment, I suppose. Okay. Oh. Oh my. Okay, now it's getting a little bit weird. Now it's a, it's a little bit much. Okay. It doesn't even sound like music anymore. Okay, rating Wublins, guys. Brump. Brump does not deserve to be so high up on this list, in my opinion. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I kind of feel like a lot of these TikToks are too long. Like, this one is... Is that five minutes? You want me to sit here for five minutes? Watching you rank Wublins? I'm gonna skip to the end. I'm sorry. All right, coming in at number one. The... No, but... ah! I forgot there was a wall box there, guys. I haven't even I haven't even uh, powered mine up yet. Okay, I can't I can't look at this. How could I give my opinion? I haven't even heard it. I'm just gonna look at this list and I'm gonna see if anyone on this list deserves to be higher up. And I gotta say, probably Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit is pretty cool. Okay, maybe swap Bon Appetit and Brump. I hardly remember what half of these guys sound like. Okay, but I do love the thwack, so I'm glad that got the number two spot. Man, I I really hate TikTok, guys. I don't know what the heck is going on. But whenever I use the desktop version of TikTok, they, they cut me off after a little bit. They're like, hey, you too much, too much TikToking over here, buddy. Guys, I've been enjoying MSM TikToks for a while, and there's a few that I liked that I want to show you, such as this one right here. What is this monstrosity? Like, what did you do? And why did you do do do, do it? They took the dandy do guys and they just gave it wubox parts. That was not necessary. Don't do that. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is ridiculously cursed. Okay. All right, here's an interesting one, guys. Rating sugar bushes on how creepy they are. Apparently, normal sugar bush is not the least creepy. Pre-chill, don't like the hat. <laughs> kind of creepy. Is it though? I mean, it's just a hat. Chillest guy out sells that premium za. So this is the least 
creepy, according to Slurp. Oh my, I need a restraining order. How much do I have to pay for you not to touch me? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I have to hear that again, cause, cause it really, he really sends it home with that last part. <laughs> I don't know what the heck this guy's up to on TikTok, but he's been like editing all the, the files in the game. And he's got this cursed Mount Morsel. It just gets worse after that, guys. It, it just it just ate his gajoob. What the heck? Move you over here, you flip. And now we wait. Okay, so it's been a few hours, and this is what we're left with. The gajoob is still dead. <laughs> oh! I mean, I know this guy is just editing it all himself, but it's a fun little story he's telling here. They stole gas balls, what the heck? Okay, let's check out the top TikToks for hashtag my singing monster. Well, there's, there, there's this. I keep coming across videos on this island. And like, it is pretty amazing, I gotta say. Honestly, guys, this makes me wanna mess around a little bit with the speed of the island, you know, with the time machine thing. So I can see if there might be like better speeds for some of my islands. Well, this is pretty freaking epic. Is that is that a noggin? Are you noggin right now, bro? This I need more friends so that I can do this at some point. Oh, boys, boys, you guys are legendary. You gotta have a fur corn in here, guys. Okay, if I walked in the bathroom just to do a little tinkle and all these dudes came out of the stalls making these noises, I'd actually probably have a good time. Who is even doing the Ant Brad voice right now? I don't even see him, he's back there somewhere, pelting it out. Ranking? The dandy do. Okay, I'll tell you one thing, guys. My favorite dandy do is the one that basically is a fur corn. But I think it's uh, one of the fire islands. Fire haven, right? This one. This is the one I'm talking about. And it turns out this TikToker is a fellow man or woman of culture. It's happening. The colossals are finally waking up. FYI guys, um, the Colossals are actually gonna make noise, apparently. That's what they said in the video. So there's gonna be something going on with them. I hope it's like like a super deep vocal sort of noise. Apparently this guy made the Ant Brat Scared by Nog song. Well, good go, go, go job, shorty. Bro, when I scrolled, my soul left my body. Oh, oh. Oh, it gets worse. Just Gold Island learning from his masters. What are you talking about? I don't even know what this is. This is a fan-made epic wall box for Gold Island, right? This all sounds very weird. I'm interested though. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do more research on this guy. Ranking all mythicals. Okay, before you rank these mythicals, let me just tell you that Strombonin goes at the top. Okay, so don't don't mess that part up. I think I might have already seen this one, guys. And if I did, I'm not happy with... Okay, may maybe not, maybe not. Terrible sound, bad design, I don't like it. It's okay. It's okay. This guy is perfectly fine as well. Calm sound doesn't do enough for the song. That's that's fair. I would agree there. I would agree. Only says four sussy words. Yeah. So far, I, I don't really have too many complaints. I saw one of these where someone put the uh, Yastrich in, in last place. And I was like, mm, I don't know, dude. I don't know if you should put the Yastrich in last place. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah. And of course, Gajub also belongs at the top, guys. So they've got my top three at the top. I'm okay with this. We love the Gajub, don't we, folks? So is it Yastrich first or is it uh, Strombonin first? Yeah, Yastrich second. Okay. Bro has the most beautiful voice. I agree, I actually really like this one, which is why I was upset when I saw someone put it at number seven. I was like, this guy is, look at his pipes, look at his little Adam's apple bouncing up and down, man. Give this guy some credit. And our, our favorite. Okay, I'm glad that you listened to me. Second favorite monster in the game, hey? 
Well, what's number one? I wonder. Strom Bonin is the most overrated monster in the game. You shut your mouth, bro! What? I have questions. I don't know what just happened. Is that what I think it is? This is one of those toys, guys. I really, I really want to get all of these toys. They're kind of hard to find. I'm thinking, should I do it, guys? Should I buy myself all the MSM singing toys for Christmas? Smash the like button. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Part 15? You, you did this a lot, huh? Well, this is probably the best one. Oh God, so this is, this is the island and every sound is this guy. He did it. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. I can't wait until I attempt such a thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're, you're killing it. You're killing it. Oh no, you never. Dude, stop. What are you? No. 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 What did you? S stop it. Stop doing that. No, not the, not the mammoth. Why would you do that to the mammoth? Just let this guy say bum in peace, would ya? Oh, that's just gross. That is absolutely gross. A uh, Cybop too? A uh, Cybop? This isn't even the person who did the Danny Do, guys. This went through other videos. They don't have the Danny Do video. What the heck? Who did the Danny Do video? Oh, okay. Someone called Furcorn did that one, guys, with the Dandy Do. They also did this. Well, it's a much... I actually like this one a lot more than the other mammoth abomination. Okay. You know what? I wouldn't even I wouldn't even hate it if there was like a Wubbox Island where every monster had a Wubbox skin. Just saying. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed these updates as well as me reacting to some of these ridiculous TikToks. If you wanna see me do this again, please hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna check out another one of my videos, check out this one, okay?